Hey, what's up you guys? Bloody Jacob here to bring you my review of the new horror comedy, Happy Death Day. This is directed by Christopher B. Landon and stars Jessica Roth as Teresa, or uh, of course referred to as Tree plenty of times, who's, you know, a fairly, you know, popular, kind of comes off, stuck up sort of girl. Um, you know, she's in uh, college and you know, what happens is she goes by her day as usual, she wakes up <laughs> in another guy's dorm, um, you know, after some kind of night of drinking and everything like that. And like I said, she's very stuck up, very sort of arrogant and sort of uh, self-centered, you could say. She's part of a soror uh, sorority and stuff like that. Um, and uh, what happens though is that when she gets to a certain point in her day, this uh, person in a you know, ba some kind of baby mask um, ends up killing her and then it goes again and at first initially she just thinks okay that was just some weird dream this is a coincidence but then she gets killed again <laughs> uh, by this guy wearing a mask um, or girl and you know it's essentially as uh, the creator said Groundhog Day, uh, Groundhog Day meets Scream and that's again very much what it is um, and I was, I was debating whether or not to see this movie for a little bit um, because, well, why would I want to see it? Because, you know, I like horror movies and uh, comedy horror can be, you know, pretty entertaining when it's done right. And uh, I'm happy to say this one was really enjoyable, actually. I liked it quite a bit. Um, I, I became more interested in watching the movie and especially going to see it in theaters when I heard more about uh, how well Jessica Roth did in the movie. And uh, let me tell you, she really brings the whole thing together. Um, of course, you know, like I said, I just explained the plot of the movie to you, um, but she's definitely the best part of it. Um, you do, you know, of course, you do automatically play, play like a guessing game, you know, obviously, uh, you know, guessing who the killer is. You, you look at the people she interacts with throughout her day, um, like what little things could she have done to set them off, you know, who seems the most sort of, you know, unstable, um, who can you guess, you know, she has a worse history with potentially, you know, you have to go off of things like that. Um, and you know, that is fun. It is fun, you know, to think about that. Um, and you know, you know there have been plenty of movies that have had the sort of Groundhog Day premise with a little something else. And this is, again, Groundhog Day with a killer, you know, scream. Um, so that part of it was pretty good, but definitely the best part of it was, again, Jessica Roth. Um, because, you know, she, uh, you know, it's been described that she pretty much plays the, a character that, uh, most viewers would be happy to see killed off, um, as far as, like, a big, a big body count as, like, one of the biggest kills in the movie or something, but no, they give her the whole film to actually develop, you know, she tries, she tries to sort of, uh, look at herself, she has to end up looking at herself, you know, again, to see the mistakes she's made, how she's treated people, really causes her to go into a lot of self-reflection, um, so she really develops, uh, pretty well, actually, and Jessica Roth does a really good job, um, when, you know, like early on in the movie when she's still sort of stuck up and sort of, uh, bitchy. <laughs> um, you know, of course, uh, like I said, you see her as that popular girl I would eventually get killed in a horror movie, but at the same time, she plays it so well. She's charismatic, she's full of energy. Um, you strangely still like her, but as it goes along, you actually get to care about her, and I did invest in her a fair amount by the end of the film. Um, I was definitely happy with that. You know, I think she, uh, seemed to have a lot of fun in the role, and I think she, uh, really brought it um, because if she didn't work, if she was dry, if she was bland, this whole movie wouldn't have, wouldn't have worked whatsoever. Um, but she really succeeds here. And uh, there is a fair bit of suspense um, in certain sequences to see how she's going to get killed. And there are some times when you do laugh in the movie. I laughed a you know, handful of times, um, or at least you know, chuckled. You know, I thought it was fairly entertaining on that end. Um, Especially when they play, I forget who did the song, but it's a pretty popular one nowadays. It's called Confident. They have this whole montage of her getting killed, or her trying to, you know, go about things, you know, trying to figure it out um, who the killer is as she gets killed again and again. Um, and just how it's added together, you know, you see the all of a sudden it cuts and the killer's running right at her and tackles her into a pool or something. Um, that that was pretty entertaining. And there's other little things throughout the movie as she gains sort of more uh, aware of what she could be in for or more uh, set on how she's going to try and, uh, you know, settle it. Um, you know, she, uh, there's a scene of her walking out naked just not giving a fuck. <laughs> um, you know, and eventually she, 
ends up connecting these dots and thinking it's this killer that was held in this hospital who gets loose and is the one going around and doing this to her on this day. Um, and that guy was all right. You know, he looked you know fairly creepy enough, I guess. Um, but I'm going to get into some spoilers if you haven't seen the movie. Um, so if you haven't yet, you know, don't watch <laughs> the video. Just know I, uh, the rest of the video, I mean, just know I did like it. You know, I thought Jessica Roth was good. Um, it was fairly funny. And I'm just going to say right now I rated it a B plus. But now if you want to hear spoilers, <laughs> you know, keep watching. Um, you know, it ends up being uh, one of her friends, her uh, roommate, actually. Um, who always greets her, uh, greets her, you know, earlier on in the morning after she, she leaves the dorm, um, has her this, uh, you know, cupcake, um, you know, she says, happy birthday, and she seems like a really genuine person, um, and there's even a decent scene where, uh, Teresa, you know, she tries to, you know, really recognize her as a good person that she is in her life, um, but it turns out she's the one that's trying to poison her over some kind of guy, apparently, I, that was like, that's like one little gripe with it, I guess, I didn't really understand, uh, the roommate's motive um, as, as to why she would just want to kill uh, Teresa like that. Um, that was a little bit unclear, a little bit linear, I guess, but I don't know what I, I, what I was expecting really. There's also like a guy she was dating, she dated like once and he turns out to be gay. Um, so there's a funny scene of her, uh, you know, seeing gay porn on his computer when she looks through his window trying to investigate him. Um, and yeah, I'm not going to talk about like every little, you know, detail of the story. Um, but there was a point where it did get a little bit, uh, it felt a little bit like tedious or played out, I guess, just because, you know, they went back to the same day a lot, so it can get, it was bordering on repetitive and slightly boring at a certain point, um, but it redeemed itself. It picked up fairly soon after that point for me, um, and I guess I really got to invest in, uh, Teresa because, uh, you know, she's also ignoring her father, and the reason why she doesn't like to celebrate her birthday um, by the way, it is her birthday. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I said that when I mentioned the cupcake thing, didn't I? <laughs> um, but the reason why she doesn't like her birthday is because her mother died on that day. And so she finally goes to see her father, and there's some fairly good acting in that scene, you know, where she just uh, lays it out all on the table with them and, you know, just tells about what, you know, she's experiencing, you know, mentally, and just, they really try to reconnect there, and good acting on both sides, but Jessica Roth especially. Um, so I was really impressed with the movie it could be so funny and sort of, uh, <laughs> you know, silly and can be, but then have a scene like that. Um, I also like the actor who played, uh, Carter, you know, the guy sh whose uh, dorm she woke up in. They didn't have sex, but, <laughs> um, I thought they had a decent connection in the movie, decent chemistry. Um, Israel, uh, Brazard, I guess his name is. I probably just butchered his name. Um... But I thought he was fairly likable, and she ends up turning to him as many times as uh, she can. And, uh, yeah, so, like I said, Happy Death Day had a good time with it. There's even a scene of her, like, almost getting free, almost getting away from, uh, you know, the killer who is uh, locked in the hospital. Um, but she ends up uh, being blown up in a police car. And it's funny because when the cop first uh, pulls her over and she realizes real archers. She realizes she's going to be taken in, you know, to, you know, jail for the night, you know, secure. You know, she's actually really happy, you know, yet, like, I've been drinking, I'm, a, I'm on any drug, you know, you name it, man. And, I don't know, just again, the way she played it made it a lot of fun, and it wouldn't have worked with that reactress for sure. Um, she just had such an appropriate amount of uh, charisma and energy coming off of her. I liked um, Jessica Roth a lot in this role. Um, so yeah, so there's other little things about the movie I could tell you about. I thought the fight, little fight scene between her and the roommate at the end was alright. Um, you know, liked her, uh, you know, doing that jump kick sort of thing out the window to kill her. <laughs> you know, which was nice. Then there's little tease at the end to make you think it's starting over again. That would have bugged me if they did that, but it turned out to be Carter just teasing her. Um, so yeah, if I had to rate Happy Death Day, I would rate it a B+. Plus. Um, not necessarily scary, you know, like I said, there were a few moments of suspense, you know, slight tenseness, I guess, but most of the humor worked, and what really brought it home is Jessica Roth, uh, Roth's performance, you know, without her, with a lesser actress who put, uh, not as much into it, you know, it would definitely bring it down to like a C, C plus, potentially lower, who knows, but she really made it. So, uh, yeah, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, like, subscribe, let me know what you guys thought about Happy Death Day, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.